Well, hello, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back, Jujitsu 2000 here today. I'm back. I hope you guys are doing fantastic out there. In this video today, we have an offering from EBL. This is their 25 watt solar battery charger and maintainer. This is model S25. Now at the time of me filming this video, the retail price of this is $49.99. However, if you use the link in the description box down below, there is a 20% off coupon that you can apply to your purchase. So let's go ahead and look at the sides of the package. There's nothing on the sides, the front, but let's take a look at the back. And right here, there are lots of specifications of this unit. Green energy, high efficiency conversion rate. And this one is really good. This is 23.5% efficiency, where most of your solar panels are around 17%. So very cool. 25 watts of power, wide compatibility, foldable and portable and wearable and durable. This is again model S25, monocrystalline silicone cells and monocrystalline is really good versus polycrystalline because monos are more effective when there's overcast, you know, shadows, shade, cloud in the sky, stuff like that. So here is some of the material, 648D Oxford fabric and ETFE. That is fantastic. That is the treatment the laminate that they put on the cells themselves. Again, 23% solar efficiency like I mentioned earlier. 25 watts, SAE connectors. I'll talk about all this in the video as you watch. So this is an open circuit voltage of 18.75 volts and it has a maximum load voltage of 15. Maximum load current 1.67 and the operating temperature of this unit is minus 20 degrees centigrade all the way up to 60 degrees centigrade now for those of us that use Fahrenheit, that's approximately minus 4 degrees Fahrenheit all the way up to 140 degrees Fahrenheit. That is the working temperature. The net weight is 0.97 kilograms and it gives you some dimensions. The unfolded is 375 millimeters by 540 millimeters and the folded size 375 millimeters by 270 millimeters now if you want to convert that into inches this is 10.63 inches by 21.26 inches and then the unfolded is 14.76 inches by 21.26 inches the weight of this is approximately 2.11 pounds and the cool thing about this unit is it'll work on just about all your 12 volt batteries whatever the chemistry is whether they're gel AGM, sealed lead acid, lithium iron phosphate, it works on all of them. So very, very cool. Let's go ahead and open this up and see what comes included in this package. So we'll just slide these down. As you can see, it's packaged very simple. You have the solar panel itself, and then there's this little box here. So let's find out what we have in the box here. We have some alligator clips. There's nothing left. Well, there is something in the box. That is our four little suction cups. So you can connect this solar panel to the inside or the outside of a windshield of a vehicle or glass or something like that. So very cool. It does come with two very nice carabiners. It comes with SAE to a cigarette lighter. So that's pretty cool. So you could use this to connect to your cigarette lighter and put voltage into your car battery that way or you can use these alligator clips and go direct to the battery and this is the method that I'll probably use tear this open slide the panel out and here is some specs on the back side of the panel as you can see it comes packaged very well and there is a look at that ETFE film so that's really nice you have grommets here on the corners 
So if you wanted to tie this thing out, you could. And it's, it's lightweight. It's not a real heavy panel. Very nice. And then right here on the top and the bottom, on each side, you have these points where you could put those suction cups. So that's what it looks like on the front. There is a little junction box right there. You can open this up and look at the wires. They are silicone coated. I like that they have a cord lock on it. So in the event the cord gets pulled a little bit, that cord lock kind of holds that cord from getting damaged. And then again, you can plug this in just like this. There we go. Now we have it shut. And that's really all there is to this panel. So a panel like this would be ideal for a lot of uses. You can use it around your car, if you have a boat or a yacht, if you've got an RV or a travel trailer. Maybe you have a lawn tractor or a lawn mower. Or even in my case, I can probably use this for my motorcycle. This SAE connects to whichever type of connection you want. And in my case, I'm going to use these alligator clips. And now I can plug this, negative and positive, right to my battery. This panel does have Smart IC technology, so it has overcharge protection. It does have overheat protection, overload protection, overcurrent protection, short circuit protection, as well as reverse polarity protection. Now here's a look at the user manual right here. It's a very basic user manual. There is the front. So feel free to pause your screen. There's a packing list of what comes included. And then there is some of the specifications of the unit. And then right there is just a little diagram talking about the operation of this panel and some of the uses that you can use it for. Here are some warnings to look out for. And then lastly, just some notes and an FCC statement to read. So very nice. Let's go ahead and take this out and plug it into a battery. Okay, here we are. We are on the front end of my Chinook. So let's find the negative terminal. We'll plug that one in. Now we'll stretch over to the positive. Just like that. And now from here, we're going to just open this panel up and aim it to the sun. And in our case right now, we can just set that bad boy just like that. We have plenty of sun here in the southwest. So if I had paracord, I could tie this thing from the hood. I could do lots of things because this panel has the little grommets on it. So if I wanted to make a little hook right there, I could just hang this here. And it would be fine. It would work really well. Again, we do have the option to use the suction cups if we want to use these cutouts. But I like the grommets here. I think that's wonderful. Another thing that you could do is, even though this might sound crude, you could take this solar panel and you could lay this flat on the ground. It won't be as efficient, but it will work. So very, very cool. Lots of options with this solar panel. So here you can see I have the, fan, the panel unfolded and it's just sitting on that light. And then up above, you're looking inside at my battery. I've got the negative terminal connected and the positive alligator connected and I'm currently charging my battery on the Chinook and it's just sitting right there doing everything it needs to do. Let's go ahead and take a look here and see what kind of voltage we're looking at. 13 volts is what I'm showing on the battery at the current time here. But I want to take a look at the actual solar panel itself and see what kind of voltage the solar panel is putting out. So I'll disconnect from the battery and we'll look at the open circuit voltage of the panel and as you can see we are dealing with 15 volts open circuit that is fantastic very good output and we're not even directly in the sun so the sun is kind of off this direction a little more towards the south so to be able to see 15 volts open circuit and we're not even directly under the sun that is very good performance out of this panel so here's another example of using this panel sitting directly on the ground so I have the wires they come up and they are charging the coach battery so this is the RV battery and that's how I can charge my coach battery 
very very nice and it's just sitting on the ground very easy very simple a monkey could do this very easy panel to use and it's very effective with that monocrystalline technology and that solar and there's the panel sitting on the ground and I have it back to the automotive side of the battery this uh, vehicle has been sitting here for quite a while I haven't started it in a while so I decided to let this thing charge a little bit and let's see if this will start up deal it was able to start this vehicle not from the solar panel by itself but just from giving it that little bit of extra pump into this battery now to charge a battery like this it would take all day using solar and it's only been plugged in a couple of hours so it, it gave it just enough to help it out I'm happy Wow this solar panel works good my final thoughts are simple. I like the way this works. It puts out good power, as you can see. If you're interested in this panel, I'll put a link in the description box down below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Until next time, thanks again, everybody. We'll see you on the next one. Bye for now, everybody.